Stay tuned as we restore the front end on this 18 year old BMW, bringing it back to its former glory. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Yes, sir. Reading you loud and clear. Clear, clear, clear. The clock has started. The clock has started. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. In this one, we're gonna be restoring the front end of this 18 year old BMW E39 5 Series. The plan is to sand the headlights down, removing all the imperfections in the plastic lenses, and then we're gonna buff them back just to restore the original clarity. Also, we're gonna be staining the black plastic trims around the front end back to their original color. We're gonna use a black trim stain, and then we're gonna go over both the trim and the headlights with a ceramic sealant, just to seal in all of the hard work and make sure that the hard work is preserved for as many years as possible. The first stage was to clean the dirt out of the way naturally. We went for an, a waterless wash in this instance. We used Optimum No Rinse and then doubled down on that with WoWo's waterless wash. The idea was that we weren't washing the whole car. We we're actually saving that for the next video. So we just wanted the localized dirt out of the way and this was the perfect way to achieve that. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Enough! So once that uh, initial stage was done, we started to prepare the plastics. We did that with an all-purpose cleaner wipe down the idea with this is to remove any grease on the plastics which would pre prevent the trim stain and the ceramic from really taking full effect. So a small little bit of prep work, but this is gonna pay its rewards in the finished product. So now we're prepared, it's time to tape up the area that we're gonna be sanding. The tape is to protect the areas next to the headlights just from any damage incurred from the wet and dry paper. And there's no point restoring the headlights if we're gonna damage all the paint around it.
When it comes to sanding, we were using just a generic wet and dry paper that we picked up from Amazon. We picked up a set of different grits, so ranging from 800 grit up to 5,000. Uh, and we used almost all of them, starting at the 800, uh, and then we finished at the 3,000 stage. And the idea when you're sanding is essentially to replace damage with a different kind of damage. Um, if you put your head around it that way, we didn't want the mess that was on the headlight, so we sanded it off, but in doing that, we replaced that damage with 800 grit sanding marks. And then progressively, as you work through those grits, you're gonna be finer and finer in that level of damage until you hit a point where it's something that you can buff off with the, the machine polisher. So here we're sanding in a left to right action. The next grit up, so when we went from the 800 to the 1200, we sanded up and down so we could differentiate that the sanding was removing the previous sanding marks uh, and so on and so forth, always alternating up, down uh, and left and right as we went. Sure, sure, I heard of grits. I just actually never seen a grit before. So this here is the final sanding stage at 3000 grit. Uh, and from here, we were happy with the way that they looked. Uh, and you can really tell if you remove the damage, it's quite clear to see, maybe less so on camera. Uh, and then we were ready to polish. We had a three-step polishing idea in mind, so starting out with a coarse polish just to remove the, the heavy sanding marks, and then we were gonna go on to a finishing polish, and then finally uh, onto a primer for the ceramic coating. quite clear to see the clarity now coming out of the lenses. The spray you're seeing after each polishing set, this is a wipe down. It removes all of the residue from the polish just used so we can see uh, that we're happy with the work it's done. Polishes have a way of masking what it is they're trying to achieve. So by using a wipe down like this Car Pro eraser here, it just gives you a true idea of exactly where you are and if you needed to repeat any steps. So it's well worth doing that in your regime.
Finally, this is the ceramic primer. We use Carpro Essence in this case. Uh, and this really just sets up a nice foundation for the ceramic coat to come. It's going to enable it to have the best potential bond to the plastic and give hopefully a good long lifespan in its protection. So now that that's done, we're not jumping straight onto the ceramic. We went into the trims at this stage. We're going to ceramic both the headlights and the trim. So it made sense to do all of the ceramics at the same time. So the trim stain is Bright Max's Trim Max, something that we've featured on the channel before. This can be used as a standalone restorer and protection for the trim. And it boasts around a, a one year durability, something I've personally had on the car previously. So I can vouch for that. This is a fantastic product just for bringing the color back to the plastics. It really gives a good showroom finish or a you know, fresh off the production line finish. The thing itself will protect, but just by doubling down with the ceramic, it's just gonna give us the best of both worlds, both color and protection. And once we got onto the grills, we toyed with the idea of removing them, but they are as old as the car and they're a little bit brittle. So the lesser of the two evils was to dress them in situ. Uh, and it did mean that we we're a little bit fiddly having to make sure that we got into as many of the nooks and crannies as possible. Uh, and a little bit of swab work was needed to achieve that. But sometimes you have to balance these jobs out. Is it worth getting them perfectly restored, uh, but snapping them or, or potentially uh, you're making them a lot weaker than they are? For us, the decision was a no-brainer. Leave them on, protect everything that you can see, restore everything that you can see, um, and just make sure that they look the best they possibly can without any additional braking and damage. And now it's time to ceramic everything. So we went with Bright Max's Obsidian for this. Uh, it's a standalone ceramic out of their range of three ceramics for the plastics, trims, things like that. Uh, so it's ideal for what we wanted and we knew it would work in conjunction with uh, the Bright Max Trim Max uh, as well. So it was a good combo to put onto all the plastics. This really is just going to seal in all of the work, give the plastics some uh, good protection. They're going to be hydrophobic, they're going to repel water uh, and it's going to prevent all of the uh, work and the trim stain that we've put into it from just coming out prematurely. So the same approach on the grills, so carefully, carefully, uh, just making sure that we dressed all that we possibly could with uh, the exact same mindset as when we were using the trim stain.
with larger areas uh, like the headlights, a good overlapping crosshatch section is just going to ensure adequate and even coverage. On the lenses more than the plastics, the plastics will be a little bit forgiving when you use the uh, ceramics on them. But any painted surface or clear surface like these lenses, if you left any high spots or missed any spots, the eye is going to be drawn to it just from the clarity that was there without the ceramic. So it's important when you do these for yourself that you just make sure a good even coverage is achieved. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is just a steady back and forth cross hatched application. You're gonna go now into the finished shots. Enjoy these, no more talking from me. Be sure to subscribe if you like the video, shoot any messages down below if you've got any questions, and if you're interested in any of the products that you've seen in this video, they'll be listed in the description down below. Thanks for watching, enjoy these finished shots. We'll see you again soon. Uh, what? That we didn't do something. What else could we be forgetting? <laughs>